Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. It's not Monday this week, but I'm sharing with you another video for Blocks. And this week I couldn't, I wasn't able to record this on Monday, but I'm usually doing that on Monday. And next week I will come back to the regular schedule. So uh, this week I'm going to address one of the questions I've been getting about the event template and the carousel I have there for testimonials. Let's go to preview quickly to see it. You know, I have this uh, carousel here and as you can see, it is kind of sliding. This is the text, image and other icons, whatever. So it's not uh, working properly in the latest versions of blocks. I don't know which version broke this, but I guess there's always a workaround. So I'm going to show you how to easily make it happen, make it work without spending too much time and without any coding, of course, because I don't like to code. So, okay, basically let me rebuild this from scratch and I will show you how I do that. The thing which is not working, by the way, is for example, you can't change the image from here. It's not, you can't select it, but you can't see the select image selector in the sidebar. And there are other issues which I'm not going to talk about. Anyway, let me quickly recreate this in the on the new page so let's call this new page and i will quickly add a couple of structure blocks i will need another one i will tell you why so let's add the carousel here and first thing we need to do of course is to add the background image i used the background dot png it's the regular image png image i have created in pixelmator or photoshop whatever and in blocks carousels are following the size of the images you use for background you can see that i'm using 1000 to 600 pixels if i set something different you can see that it will change and it will change the size of, of the carousel and what it means is that is that you need to add the same size images to all slides. So I have three slides here. So I will add this background PNG, the same size background PNG to all slides I have. Okay. So now I have this carousel and now I want to add what I had here. It is the image name, come title and paragraph text this icon okay let's add that but thing is you can see that it's not always easy to add it here directly and i will show you how you can work around it without any problem basically we're just going to build the separate separate structure on another block and then place it to the carousel because carousel is blocking us from editing it for some reason, but we can do that. So I will add the div container and inside it, I will add image, round image. Let's add this guy here, very big. Let's make it smaller. And I will add, so let's just add this cool name of this guy. We will align everything to the center and let's just add one icon and that will be fine for this video i will add some colors to make it better visible and yeah that's it i think this is going to work for me and we can change the the size a little bit i don't want it to be too wide i don't like then text is stretched from edge to edge i don't think it's good for readability and let's open that and align it to the center by selecting the both sides and typing a auto into margin so this is basically what i want to see inside this carousel and well obviously i want to have three slides so i will add i will create three same slides like that but before that i will actually i will add some style i will add some animation so let's add bones from the from the right something like that okay 
So I will quickly duplicate this div three times. I will change the images so we have different people for each slide. Well, that, that will work for me. So I have three divs and I have three images, three names, three testimonials. So now I need to place it here in the caption area for each carousel item. And well, what we can do here, basically we need to add this div container inside this caption area. And if we drag, try to drag it here, it's not working. Okay, it happens. But if we first place div, for example, inside the caption area, you can see now we have this blocks container. And now if we try to drag div inside the caption area, we can do that. We can see here and we can select the div we have placed there and delete it. Okay, now we can see that we don't have the colors set for the name and for the text. Sometimes it's not working like that. And during these times, we just add the paragraph, whatever. We can create new class and change the color in custom class. Once again, I don't know why, why this happens and I'm, I'm not happy about it, obviously. I hope that this will be fixed, but it works. If I need to create the carousel, I can. There's a couple of workarounds like that. So that's the first slide i will actually copy this class to all of our slides all of our testimonials so we have the same colors set for all of our slides here like that so now i have the first slide let's go to the second i will just select the carousel it's actually third slide let's go to the first one same story here we can't add anything so let's First of all, add div, right? We can add div, we go to here, drop down mode, and then let's exit drop down mode, select our second div, and once again, place it inside the caption area, like that. And let's move to the second, third, uh, second slide and do the same. I will place the div here. I will go back to our second block and place it into the caption area and delete the empty one. Okay, so now it will work. It's obviously it's not perfect, but this is what we can use to create the design we want. So now when we need to change something, once again, I can change the image here and the only way you can do that for now, uh, you can just drag it out, change it to something different, whatever, let's make it completely different like that. And then we can bring it back. Once again, if we can't, if we can't drag it there, First, just add the div container or something like that, and then place it inside. So not perfect, but this is how you can do that. And it works fine. And yeah, this is one of the ways you can create the testimonial slide. And of course, it's not the only way you can use code. You can use some other techniques. You can create the images as a background and make them like just image images, this text. I prefer this way because I can easily change the text when I want. I can easily change the title, whatever, and it's easy for me to update it. Once you know how to, it's not that difficult. So that's it for this week's video. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will talk to you next Monday, hopefully. And yeah, stay safe. Goodbye.